Hello, my name is Dr. Billy Crow. I'm a professor of nematology at University of Florida. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the proper technique for taking soil nematode assays from a golf course putting green. If you're taking a sample to send into a lab for diagnosis, it's important to collect a proper sample so that the diagnosis you get back from the lab is accurate. Most golf courses are going to have a device similar to this for taking soil samples. These also work very well for taking nematode samples uh, from soil as well. When we take a nematode sample, typically we want to get, take our sample down about three or four inches deep. That's where most of the roots of the grass are, and it's also where most of the nematodes are going to be. Now for my sample, I'm going to be taking 12 to 16 cores from each green. And this type of device needs to be empty between each core, which is a lot of emptying. So what I'm going to use instead of this is a cone sampler, which uh, with this sampler I can take all my cores from one green in one sample and I only have to empty this out once. Here we have an area that uh, looks suspicious for nematode activity. So we want to determine if nematodes are what's causing this turf decline. Now when we're taking our nematode samples, one thing to remember is we need multiple cores. If I take a core right here, and if I take a second core here, I can have 10 times more or less nematodes in this core than in this one. So I want to take between 12 to 16 cores from these symptomatic areas. Now, if you see here where the grass is dead, I don't want to take my uh, cores in here because the grass is already dead, there's nothing for these nematodes to eat. So we want to concentrate our sampling in areas where the grass is sick but not dead. have our nematode sample from this screen that's representative composed of 16 individual cores. Okay now that we have our nematode sample we want to send it into a lab. We want you to put your sample into a plastic bag. We uh, want you to use plastic and not paper so that the sample doesn't dry out and we end up with dried up shriveled up nematodes. Now we label our bag with a permanent marker that doesn't rub off and if we're sampling multiple greens, it's important to know which sample goes to which green because we've got very different nematode populations between those. Now I'm going to seal this up and because we don't want to have steam nematodes, we don't want to leave this out in the sun. So I am going to put the sample in this cooler to get it out of the sunlight as soon as I take it and then I'm going to keep it in a cool air conditioned room until I get a chance to send it off to the lab. Okay, today we've demonstrated how to take a soil nem nematode sample for nematode assay. Most nematodes live in the soil, so this is the most common type of sample that most golf courses will be collecting.